All right, class. Uh, this is just the introduction to the course. I uh, just wanted to go through the, uh, the syllabus with you as well. Uh, if you go to Blackboard, uh, you should see a link under um, documents uh, for this syllabus. Um, the class starts Monday, the 6th of November, and it will end on the 14th of January, which is a Friday. Uh, that gives us six weeks of uh, instruction total. Uh, this introductory part is what's found in the catalog. Uh, these are our course learning objectives. You can, of course, read through those as well. Uh, there is a textbook for this course. Uh, you have an ebook version that comes with the class uh, as part of the first day program. Uh, so as soon as you are registered for this course, you should have access to all of your materials. If you do not, uh, be sure to let me know, but more importantly, let McGraw-Hill know so that they can push it through on their side. Um, we do expect you to have uh, internet access. Uh, if you do not have access at home, I know previously we had boosters for our parking lot. So uh, if, even if you could just pull them to a parking lot, uh, you could access it, but you should be able to access anywhere you can get the internet, including uh, a coffee shop. Uh, so uh, if you have any issues uh, beyond that, please, again, just let me know uh, so we can be uh, aware. But the expectation is for you to complete um, the, the course uh, on your own. So um, the, the way the course um, is set up um, is uh, we have a learn smart assignment, which is the lecture portion of the course. Uh, there will be assignments and assessments. The difference is assignments are homework and assessments are quizzes. Uh, so you have to do those for every uh, chapter. You'll have to do the homework and the quiz. Um, and there are four exams. Uh, I've broken this into four modules over the six weeks, uh, and each module will have an exam. So there'll be a total of four exams uh, for this course. The modules themselves, the first one is due in two weeks. Um, you have three chapters in module one uh, to do over the two weeks. So it actually gives you a lot more time than you probably would need. Um, but module two is also three chapters. And as you see, you only have one additional week. So if you wish to complete module one early, you are definitely free to work ahead. Everything is open currently. So you will be able to get into your courses and, uh, and you could complete everything early. However, when that module's due date rolls by, uh, you will no longer be able to access that module. So. Uh, you need to get uh, everything done by those dates, uh, but you are able to do it earlier. Um, <clears throat> uh, as far as the course itself, um, you see there's a discussion boards. You'll have uh, various prompts that you'll respond to uh, and respond to each other. Uh, that's 20% of your grade. Um, 20% will be the homework that I told you about, that, that assignment. That's what the Learn Smart module is, is the, the assignment. The, the weekly quiz is the assessment. So we have uh, the homework, the quiz, uh, each being 20%. And then the exams, a uh, total of 40% or 10% per exam. So that will give you your, your total score. Uh, we use a standard grading policy in here. Uh, yeah, so that's um, <clears throat> that information. Uh, as far as the six weeks, you can see how we, I've got it broken up. So um, it's a six-week course. Normally, I teach this as an eight-week course, so it's broken up a little bit differently. But um, for this one, um, we just have the extra weeks put in the first and third modules. Uh, but again, you are more than welcome to work ahead um as as you go through that um and then here's some information if you have issues with with mcgraw hill so um <clears throat> let me go ahead and share um the course uh real quick uh here's that syllabus that we were just looking at um the here's where you would go to the discussion board and then here on assignments uh, you see the videos listed, and if you notice, there's dates in here. Um, so um, it's you see here it's like due 
uh, half past midnight. It was just to make sure uh, because I did say midnight on the 17th, but I know some people will uh, go a little bit further, but everything is on Eastern time. So if you're in another time zone, just uh, remember we're GMT minus five hours. So, uh, so make any adjustments you need. Uh, but as you, uh, you are know, able to go through here again, right here, the smart book, uh, this is not for points. This is your lecture. So you can go through here and access the course. The assignment is the homework. The assessment is the quiz. Okay. When you've completed each of the modules, so the first one would be chapters one through three. See here, everything's the 18th and then four, it jumps to the next week. So if you complete chapters one through three, then you can come down here to the exam. The exam is due on the same date because that's part of that same module. If you notice here, there's a practice. This practice is not for any points, but the practice draws from the exact same test bank as the exam. So this would be the very best practice for you to prepare for the exam. Uh, you get unlimited tries with the practice. Uh, so you are more than welcome to do that as many times as you would like. Uh, in fact, the more you do it, um, the more likely you're going to see every question that you would see on the exam. Um, so, so that you can always do that one uh, as much as you want. Uh, I have not yet um, started the announcements, but it, when, when you get on here, uh, this video is obviously going to be in this announcement. I'm also going to put uh, links to videos where I have worked through the homework questions. So those homework questions uh, are there that you can click on a link and it'll open up um, a video for you uh, that you can watch um, and, and see those. So um, <clears throat> welcome to the course. Um, I hope everyone uh, is excited about doing this and, and everyone is able to get through it very quickly and easily. Uh, but if not, you can always email me. It's benjamin.woodruff at eku.edu. Uh, I am very happy to answer any questions that you may have. So thank you so much. And I look forward uh, to our course.